Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Today we're going to play Amazon Nature again, right before Weekend Ranked starts. Um, I'm not sure if we are going to play Amazons in Weekend Ranked 2. I guess not. But let's see. Maybe if it works today better than I expected. We might keep it, otherwise we have some good options for Weekend Ranked, I guess. Since when I take a look at GU decks, I think it's less a Randion than it used to be. But yeah. We have still a lot of Zuvor. And I guess Zuvor is not the most favorable matchup for Amazons. So our first opponent plays that. I guess we take Animal Bond here. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of that deck he's playing because the last deck he was playing was not death. So it can be anything. I expect Bomb Death or Anubians with that god power. So we shuffle Hortak in and Murtos Daughter for sure. I think the rest is not looking too bad. I guess I keep that. The calm before the storm. Let's start with the trail marker. Say hi. Oh, okay. These two guys. Hmm. And untold greed. No, oh, it seems to be a good idea to play canopy sniper, I guess. Two pyramid wardens are also insane. Maybe not the best in this matchup since he can have curse of greed to finish them easily. Light bomb on canopy sniper, okay. And he's playing his own pyramid warden. Hmm, I guess we go wide with our Amazons right now. And we wait. Wow, his Pyramid Warden is Shadow. This is not the way. It's crazy. Priestess of Takkad and Raving Necromancer. He's playing Curse of Greed on that one. Ooh. I guess we got no choice. We gotta kill Theriel. Uh, I mean, Romite Warden. We get Canopy Sniper back. Let's play all Wardens. I think as long as he got no Ragnarok or something, it should be alright. He already used one Blight Bomb and one Curse of Greed. So it's unlikely he has more of that right now in the hand. Ignite on him. Okay, we are losing three life. Another canopy sniper, now that's crazy. Now we're going to get the lambasting wand. I think if he's not having some kind of board wipe like all to ashes or something, it should be GG, huh? 
Necro Scepter is not going to be much of a help. We're going to get Nightleaf Trapper. Oh. Or Aiko. This poor guy, we just have everything. Reach into the black. In general, a good card, but it's not going to save him. Really not bad, but I think we were just way too fast in this game. Okay, let's try again. Death again. Zombie Tempo, it seems. Zombie Tempo is playing Overseer of Vitality twice, Bifurcating Curse, Arch of Amenos, Amenmos, and Guild Enforcer. So, this is not quite the usual Zombie Tempo. Little bit big emphasis on the late game he got, I guess. Let's shuffle the Landcaller Captain in. Guess the rest is all right. Ah, and he's using Ignite. Strange. Or maybe he's playing a different deck now. Or maybe not. Hmm. Let's go with the two Nightly Warriors. Next turn we can drop our Canopy Sniper and Butcher whatever he plays, hopefully. Necro Scepter. Mm -hmm. We need to get the Nightly Trapper as soon as possible. I hope we can make it. Hmm, Curse Top Light is a problem for sure. He's leaving in Skeleton with Armor behind. I wish we could play the Blade already. Hey, Grace Taka! Welcome back! So far, it's good, I guess. And I hope it's going to stay like it. How are you doing, man? Great to see you. I think we are at 11th favor now. We definitely need to grab the Nightleaf Trapper next turn. Hmm. <laughs> Playing sealed, losing tokens. Oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, now the question is a little bit, do we want to play Blade or do we want to play Nightleaf Trapper? Blade is so sweet on this one. It's okay, I'm having fun. Okay, that's the most important thing. As long as you have fun, it's all right. Oh, it's so hard to say here in this situation. Hmm. Is it 
time to hibernate already. I guess I play this one. And I bump into that one, and then we have enough favor for the Nightleaf Trapper. And then we can finish this guy too. So he got just one creature left. And his relic is gone. The next turn we can play the blade on curve. He's trading for that one, yeah, okay. I see. Oh, and Wicked Fee too. Damn. We definitely need the draw from the blade now. The sky is getting burned. Hey, cool. Yeah, I guess we play blade anyway. Burmite Warden, we cannot play him yet. I guess we trade him off. And this one is just going for face, so we get a little bit more favor. This is not the way. Another blight bomb. Damn it. I was hoping we could draw another one with a blade. So, he had both of his Blight Bombs yet. Ah, Hortak is going to help here a lot, I guess. Hmm. hmm. I hope that's alright. Curse of Greed cannot kill her, and he already had both Blight Bombs, so I guess the easy ways are already played out to finish her. He's going for phase. Ah, oh, and Guild Enforcer, holy crap. Ignite to... Oh, god damn it. I don't really want to play two Pyramid Wardens here. But they are definitely protecting her. Hmm. Guess we have no choice right now. I can't do that. Growth requires patience. So it looks like we could Ah, we could not. I thought we could do her damage again. But with bad luck, hmm, damn it. Got four mana left, two cards in his hand. Oh, those guys, hmm. Let's finish the Guild Enforcer first. And let's take a look where the Betcha goes. The Betcha goes there, okay. We hit the face and we are going to get... I'm not sure what I'm what I should get. I guess I'll wait for next turn. We cannot play it now anyway. If he got... If he's getting his Necro Scepter, we can play the Sword Basilisk. If we need to snipe something, we get Ogre Archer.
Overseer of Fatality. Shit. This is a problem. Ouch. Now he's getting something back. Oh, and something good, even. Holy crap. Fade Torn Blade. And Box One Trail Marker to finish him. We could still finish the Overseer. I'm not sure. I guess I go now for more favor. And I hope it's going to be all right. We need some great top deck for sure now. He's finishing these two. And he's healing him with the Rune of Life, okay. So far, so okay. Ignite on him. Moto's daughter, yeah. Top deck like this. Hmm. We now have the chance to play Moto's daughter and deal a huge amount of damage. Let's see where the Betcha goes. The Betcha goes there. Okay, then we trade him off for sure. Until the next life. Let's get the wand. We get the basilisk too, so he cannot remove the wand. My patience wears thin. Ah shit, we should have traded the, the rhino off, I guess, huh? The trial begins. He's getting, I guess, maybe another overseer. Or oh, Nether Swarm Lord, something like that. Arch of Amen Moors would be an option too. Yeah, I guess something like that. Guess we wanna hit his face. If he cannot heal, he's dead in two turns. Come on, you cannot heal right now, right? <laughs> GG! All right! Nice! We did it. Haftos! Oh, long time not seen. He's playing Refresh Nature, it seems. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Mm. Guess we need to shuffle in the big ones for sure. 
guess blade more important. Oh, fuck, Hortak. Okay, let's see. He's playing Curious Wisp. Shines twice. Blood in the water. Rust away, poison dart. Drag down Fertry's Fury, Winter's Bounty, Dearly Departed, Demogorgon, Ember Oni, Hortak. This is going to be a hard one. Pretty hard one, I guess. Mmm, Underbrush Boar. Fuck it. This is so strong. I guess I'll pip into River Jumper Captain so we have something that can stick to the board. Boar is going for phase. So I guess we play Finian. He cannot rely where his boar is attacking. He's going for phase, that's alright. Creates. Mm -hmm. Awaken. Let's finish the war first. And we create something too. A little bit more pressure and here we go. Blood in the water is mana search 5. So next turn we have to be careful if he's using the pip now. Yeah, he's using the pip now, so next turn he can have his blood in the water mana searched. Can we prevent blood in the water somehow? If he plays it on the river jumper, it's a pity. Yeah. But at least it's not clearing the board. So we got two mana left. What are you going to do? Come on. Create. Mm -hmm. I guess we create two. Yeah, drag down. Damn it. That's bad. It's 
the circle of life. We already make space in our hand for playing Theria. Dearly departed, no fuck no. Why? Oh, this is so bad. Oh yeah, Mortal's daughter. Here we go. Winter's bounty. <laughs> Crazy. Ah. Oh. Imperious might. We need to get that. Hopefully, he cannot kill too many to get it. He could have dragged down again to kill four of my creatures. Mm, that would be bad. Compost charm. Okay. Canopy. Killing Phaeton Blade. That was lucky. River jumper, okay. We get smite. Guess we create. Ooh, spring harvest. Here we go. Treasure bug. Low hanging fruit. Aspect of pangolin. Crazy. Doesn't matter, I guess, what we what we banish except the boar. So we cannot get the boar back when our pyramid warden dies. <laughs> Poison dart, uh-huh. You got just three mana left. And another boar. Got seven, eight, nine, eleven. GG, man. Good start today. Three zero. Didn't expect that. Maybe we found a sweet spot with our wallet Amazon deck. But I'm not sure, maybe it's also lucky matchups. Yeah, the first two were death, and death is usually a good matchup for us. Oh, it's death again. Agro death, it says. So I guess we go for animal bond again. Let's shuffle Theriel in, and Raging Giant, and Diffia too. Oh, the rest is all right. We keep it. Dead. Good luck. By the way, guys, what kind of decks are you going to play for weekend ranked? I was thinking about 
control light. Or maybe even control war, but now that I see we have won already three games in a row with Amazon. And we are meeting a lot of death guys. Maybe I should stick to Amazon actually? I don't know. So he is having the Necroceptor already. I guess we go for Pyramid Warden here. We trade the zombie off and hit the face. We need to get the Swart Basilisk as soon as possible. Mm hmm. Blackfire Flatling. So here we need. Canopy Sniper, I guess. Need to trade the zombie so the Sanctum Guardian is going to survive the death of the Blackfire Flatling. Oh fuck, it's a canopy. Ah, I misplayed. Shit! Ah, that's so pathetic. I should have played the animal bond that the Betcha is going to die, I thought. Sanctum Guardian is getting the hit, but yeah, it, the canopy sniper was weaker. Shit. Ah, uh, I made it for myself way harder now. That should be alright, I guess. We can get Swart Basilisk now. We have a pretty strong board. Cause of Greed could be a good help for him to get rid of Sanctum Guardian. Burial Worm triggering the effect. Okay, he's getting pumped up zombie. Rairu, hi, good morning. Welcome back and great to see you. Definitely need to remove his relic, I guess. And I think we also probably want to trade the rest of his stuff. So we got four cards left. Hack raised slave. <laughs> Welcome, hack slave. Uh, hack raised. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Good to see you. What do you mean? S or self? Self, not slave. Self. I have no clue what that means. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Self. This is not the way. I'm not the best English talking guy, actually. Mm, what should we do here? Yeah, it's time for to duel. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I guess maybe River Jumper and Finian while we are hitting face. In the worst case, he gets a Blackfire Flatling back, I guess, from killing Pyramid Warden. So it should be alright when we play River Jumper and Finian. We fill the board pretty much. And maybe the last amount of damage we are going to push with Landcaller Captain in the end. Ah! Salve! It's like, hi, I see, I see, good to see you, hi, and thank you for explaining. I always try to read it like English, but it's uh, Italian, right? Are you from Italy? Or is it maybe even Latin? Portuguese, ah, all right, I see, I see. I'm Brazilian. Okay, cool. Welcome, man. Good to see you.
Wow, we won four games in a row. That's crazy. Long time ago, we could pull that off with Amazons. Totally strange. But I'm happy about it. And the deck is pretty shiny, so we have already a huge amount of, of fragments. Now after this streak, I think even about playing Amazons in Weekend Ranked. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. What do you think, guys? Should I give it a try? King Unchained. Again, death? We are meeting here one death deck after another. It's like the fourth time we meet death today. That's crazy. And some days we only meet war. Today it's death. <laughs> When I take a look at GU decks, are there so many death decks actually? Meta. Year lists. Popularity. Agro death, it's like 5.6% popularity. That's not too much actually. So Atlantean magic, ramp magic, and zoo war are more popular. Hmm, let's shuffle Raging Giant in and Landcaller Captain. Oh, the rest seems to be okay. I'm not sure about Fate Hornblade. We might not have a follow-up when we start with these two first. Or we could play Animal Bond in case of emergency. Blade of Fight Plane is good. Just a little bit big. We could also just play this one and wait. We might play Fate Hornblade or not. Keep the pip. I'm not sure. We have the Nightleaf Trapper in the Sanctum. Maybe it would have been better to pip into Sanctum Guardian here. Ah, Wicked Fee. I wasn't thinking about her. She's a problem for sure. Okay. In this case, we go for Phaeton Blade and trade this Impling off. Hmm. Hmm. I think Necroceptor or Cursed Obelisk would be a problem right now. He could hit the face, get Frenzy and already pip into one of those. Mm. Our Curse of Greed and Fate Hornblade would hit pretty much too. We'll see. Three mana. Blackfire Flatling, I see. Okay. Awaken. Ha. Hmm. I have no clue. It's bad, however we do it. Hmm. We are really caught in a bad spot. Hmm. For 
now I must rest. Maybe I should have hit the face. He's probably going to trade like this anyway. Hmm. Oh, he's going for face. Interesting. Oh, and Ragnarök. I see. And untold greed. Hmm. Could have been worse, I guess. I think it's not too bad. Sanctum Guardian is going to survive it for one more turn. And I guess it's pretty likely that we can get Nightleaf Trapper next turn. Could have been worse. Can draw with Blade of White Plane. His grave is not set up that great yet. He got one Blackfire Flatling. Got five cards in his hand though. Hmm. Just Curse of Greed and Blight Bomb, something like that together would be bad because he could get then the Nightleaf Trapper already. Hmm. Another Flatling. Alright, that's okay. We're going to to finish him with the Blade of White Plane. Fate Hornblade is getting the damage. And we can grab Nightleaf Trapper. We draw a card. We hit the face. That's okay. Necroceptor. What the fuck? He he knows we got the Nightleaf Trapper. Or is he having maybe a second Scepter in his hand? Might be. Awaken. Hmm. Underbrush Boar. Nightleaf Trapper and I guess Animal Bond. We hit the face. Boa's taking care of the zombie. Nightleaf Trapper's taking care of the relic. Penny, hello! Good to see you! Great to meet you. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Are you playing Gods Unchained too? Oh, Neferu, Champion of the Dead. I I wasn't having this one on my watch. That's pretty bad. But maybe Theriel in the end can rescue us. Thank you very much. I just tuned in. All right, cool. Welcome on board. Always great to see some people on YouTube watching too. Thank you. I guess we are going to confuse this one. For now, we play Betcha and Pyramide Warden. Just to keep him off a little until we can play Thariel to hopefully finish him. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. This is a safe space for all people. Don't worry. So, he got another Necroceptor and we have no Relic removal left. He might turn the game around now. We'll see. So if he got 15 health or less, he will get her back to his hand. Mm, so I think we got to finish her in a different way. 
if he's healing a little bit up with a zombie. And we finish her then, that might be alright. Let's take a look first where the Betcha is hitting. Ah, oh, he's hitting the face. Okay. Then we have to punch the zombie. We pack with the Pyramide Warden. Hopefully he's not getting something too good back. Oh, fuck. We are dead. Yeah, we are dead. However, we put it, it's GG. But we had a good streak so far, so I don't mind. We have already four wins, just one loss now. Hopefully we keep that we can keep that win rate up. Let's try again. So Who's going to be our next opponent? Maybe someone we know? Oh. Ah, we played against this one before today. He's playing Zombie Tempo, so he's also playing a death deck. He was the guy with the Arch of Amen Mos and the two Overseers of Vitality. Mm, let's shuffle the blade in. It's too much mana, I guess. Divya 2. The rest is alright for going second. I guess I keep it. Hmm. My coffee cup is empty. Good luck. Guess I have to switch to water. Let's start with Nightleaf Warrior, so we don't have to waste any pip early on. Mm. He's playing a Necro Scepter, so we need to get Swart Basilisk as soon as possible. It's tempting to clear the board with Canopy Sniper here, I guess. We could also play Finian for Tempo or Pyramid Warden. Hmm... I'm not quite sure. Mm. I guess I'll go for Pyramid Warden and trade this small guy here off. Hmm. He'll probably play Ignite on Nightly Foria, I guess. Ah, Cursed Hoplite. That's okay, though. Awaken. We cannot finish him with Canopy Sniper. Hmm. But I guess we probably play Canopy Sniper anyway. Or do we play Animal Bond? I guess we play Animal Bond. We wanna go for face, but we also wanna finish him to make it less likely that he can finish Pyramid Warden. We also get an apple from getting frenzied by Finian. Afterlife, give your strongest creature 1-1. One, one. Strongest creature right now is Pyramid Warden. So if the apple dies, Romite Warden gets a buff right now. Oh, he's finishing this one and summoning zombies. That's good. Good for him. Okay, we got no Amazons left on the board. Oh, and he can finish the Pyramid Warden even. Oh, I... I haven't thought about that. Uh oh. Raging Giant. Hmm. Let's trade one of those zombies off to buff the Batcher. And then we try to trade off this one. 
Yeah, that's okay. River jump the captain. And I guess we play another Betcha. Hmm, this is not going to be easy. Oh, Nether Swarm Lord, this is bad. This is really bad. We need urgently to get rid of this guy. Oh, fuck. I think this is going to be revenge of this guy. The revenge for, for the last game. Hmm. Let's take a look. Is the Thatcher going here? Okay, he is. And this one too. Wow, that's lucky. Do we want to play Canopy Sniper already? I guess probably not. Hmm. Ah, but the thing is... With those traits now, we pushed him to 18 favor and he can grab Swart Basilisk. Oh, and Guild Enforcer is also a huge problem. Yeah, he's grabbing it, damn it. My turn. <laughs> this looks bad. We can just drop our Raging Giant. We cannot harm this guy too much yet. Hmm. If he got problems with getting rid of Raging Giant, we might have a chance. But otherwise, I think it looks bad. Oh, bad luck. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to finish us soon. Or oh, even with Blight Bomb, okay. Good game. I think we cannot come back. We are going to take a look what we are going to draw, but... That's it. Nah, no, it might be foolish from him not to trade Reva Jumper off. He could find Moto Staller to turn the board around a little. But just a little, so... Yeah, Moto's daughter, like I said. We can finish now the Guild Enforcer. We can grab Swashbuckler to finish the small zombie and to trade off another zombie with Moto's daughter. I, like the way you I think he's still going to win. He got five cards in his hand while we got only two. And he can easily finish the River Jumper off. But still, it could have been better for him if he traded my river jump off. He could now top deck Thariel or Hortak. And turn the game around still. It's <laughs> unlikely, but it's possible. Ah, Kyra, okay. That's strong. And he can... He can even grab the... Jail Beast? Ooh! Why, Evan? Thank you so much for your raid! Thank you! Somehow the alerts didn't work, huh? Hello, hello, why Evan, thank you so much for your raid, and welcome raiders, nice to see you. What the fuck is wrong with the alerts, I don't know, but welcome guys, nice to see you, have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the stream. With Shredder, we might have a little bit of hope. Just a little. We'll see. 
He's trading the blade off, okay. He's trading the Batcher off, and he's trading him off, huh? Yeah. Necroceptor again, oh, damn it. Why, Evan, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Oh, holy crap, what top decks? Oi, oi, oi. This is insane. Gain 3-3. Three, three. Well, this is all okay, I guess. I guess I go for overkill in this case. Because with Shredder, we might pump someone really, really strong. He got one hand card. I guess I take the gain 3-3 three, three guy. Hmm... We don't have the God Blitz guy. I guess I'll take the trial begins so he cannot take it next turn. Double Deutsch Echo? We got an Echo? Do I have some audio problems? No, I thought. Okay. Sorry, sorry, watching more. All right. Don't worry. So what are we going to do here? We are down to 11. We are down to much actually, right? We can run over this guy. We should have gotten one of the heal guys probably. Hmm. He's going to finish us. I just uh, adjust. I had to adjust my bubble fish audio levels. Whatever this is. Yeah, we are dead. But we made a nice attempt to come back. GG. He was just a little bit too fast now in the end. But we have still a good uh, win rate. Four wins, two losses. I hope we still hope we can keep it up. And why, Evan? Thank you so much for the rate again. Guys, huge shout out to why, Evan. Take a look at his channel and maybe leave a follow if you like his content. You should definitely take a look. It's a magical fish you stick in your ear, so you can understand any language written by Adam, by Douglas Adam, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy guy. Or oh, I need a fish like that too. That would be cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, who's going to be our next opponent, huh? Hmm. Oh, it's Relic War. Damn, and I just put out Finian, no, not Finian, um, Chiron, the teacher. Well, if you have two, you get an echo. You need one. I see, I see. Relic War is a problem. For sure. You need to shuffle. Or tuck in and Raging Giant and Shredder. Mm. The the storm. All right, this is actually not bad. I guess I go for full aggression here with the two one drops. Hmm. Just stuff like bar fight and so on will be not that great. I need a weapon, okay. That's to expect from Relic War. Or Tuck. I guess we are not going to keep it up long enough to play Hortuck. He'll probably finish us before. Try 
Dragon Fang. Mm hmm. Aiko! Yeah, all right. What a top deck. Heart of the cards, I'd say. Oh, he's already pumping that up? Crazy. Ah, oh, he's not attacking. Oh, he's going to be so mad about this. Holy crap. Poor guy. He's keeping it up, though. Mm -hmm. Let's get the lambasting wand. Sanctum Guardian and Pyramid Warden. We are hitting the face. So he's going down to nine. It should be all right. Usually, we have problems with Relic War, but in this case, this we just got her at the ideal time. Auric Rush. Mm hmm, not bad. But I think it's not going to be enough. Oh yeah, GG. All right. Five wins already. Pretty good score today so far. Good. So, magic, hmm, what kind of magic are you playing? Atlantean, hmm, I guess I go for create. Atlantean magic won't be easy, oh, but this hand looks good, I guess, I hope. We'll see. Starting off with these two one drops. Could pip into ping, but he's leaving a recruit behind, so... Oh! Portable Fortress. No, then I guess we just... Just play Pyramid Warden, or do we... That is not possible. I guess we bump into that one. It's not cool, but... We want to get Frenzied next turn, and... To play Finian, so we need to damage this. Oh, he's getting protected. All right. Blade is great. Let's finish him. Let's get frenzied and drop Finian. So, he's now a little bit under pressure, I think, to finish Finian soon. Not too bad. 
Oh, and we only have big stuff here at the moment. Okay, we go phase to fill up our favor. And then we grab Spash Buckler to finish this guy. And then we still got enough mana to tap create. And Finian is giving us another apple. He's now pretty likely going to finish Pyramid Warden, yeah. And he will get back under Tower Rover or Portable Fortress. Ah, this guy, yeah. So a random Atlantean is getting protected again. But no problem, we are going to finish the protected one with Blade of Fight Plane. Whew. Then we are going to hit the face with the Thrash Buckler. And we are going to trade the, this guy off. And Finian has give us another apple. The universe continues to astonish. I hope it's alright like this. Mm, going for face. Valka's discovery. Mage bolt. Mm hmm. I see. So blade is going to be a f six five. Fine. As long as he's not playing another creature, I guess my bl other blade will finish her and then we hit the face for 6 damage. Should be good. That's crazy. With two blades, that card draw is just insane. Atlant Raptor, so he's going to finish the smaller blade for sure, but no problem. I guess we just play Shredder now, run over him. Buffing our creatures a little. Now he's under pressure. Oh yeah, GG. All right. When we got a nice curve, our deck feels just in some matchups unstoppable. GG. Thank you. So, two more games to go for the P2E today. And we already have six wins. I'm really wondering, should I stick to that deck for weekend ranked? I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure about that. Here we play against Atlantean Magic again. 8-2, is it's real? <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure yet. We are going second. I think for going second, this hand is alright. We keep it. 8-2 would be awesome with Amazons. This is really rare. 7-3 would be already great. Oh, but he got a pretty good start. Hmm. And Pyramid Warden now feels a little bit fragile. He's going to bring him already down to 3 to 2-3. Two, two, three. And then he got someone in the void already that he can get back. When the Pyramid Warden dies, hmm. It's a little bit uncomfortable, I guess. Hmm. I hope it's going to be alright. Let's pip into B and trade that one off. 
now he needs to spend two mana for god power to finish pyramid warden for sure He's going for phase. Ha! I would love to play River Jumper and Nightly Foria now to finish one of those. But. <laughs> then we might have nothing to play in the next turn. But I guess we have to do it. I guess we have to do it. We need to take over the board against Atlanteans all the time. When we can take board control, Atlanteans are usually fucked. So there's at the moment no way not to do it. You have create anyway. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We can use create in case of emergency. Answer the call. Another river jumper. So this thing is dealing damage to the weakest, so let's trade it off like this. He will just pop the board right now. And then... Maybe we should have played that river jumper first, actually. Yeah, then he would be stronger. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to create yet, I guess. That was a small mistake. Mm, I hope it's going to be alright though. Undertow Striker? What spell is he playing? Dimension Door, okay. Dimension Door. At four cards left. Scuttler Sentry, Face Touched Golem. My turn. Let's trade these two off. Is he having an Atlantean Raptor? Yeah. Okay. But he's slowly running out of stuff. Applied, he's getting two. Myrtle's daughter should be good. That is not possible. And we get Ambitious Adventurer for sure. Another raptor? Hmm? Ah, no, forager, but that's good too. Yeah. Got three mana left. Okay, this guy is not a real threat for the boss, I think. Let's draw. Motus daughter again. Let's try land caller captain. If we are lucky, going to hit the hoplite. No? Okay. I think he'll have a hard time to come back. These two together are cool, but probably not cool enough. Hmm. 
Excavations analyst. Mm -hmm. And Undertow Striker. Scuttler Sentry. So we could do six and damage. Hmm. Oh fuck. Should have attacked with that guy first. Ah oh, fuck. That was bad. Hmm. Let's see if I can find some order in this chaos. Still win, no problem. Yeah, yeah, he's way too much under our control, that's right. But if we would have attacked with him first. We could finish him next turn already, and now we cannot. Awaken. Or maybe we can. Barely. One... Turn. Yeah, healthy life total? What do you mean? Boom, yeah. Wow, seven wins already. One more P2E game. Hey, Robbie! Thank you so much for following. Thank you! You at 27, got it all locked up. I see. Robbie, thank you so much for following and welcome on board. Nice to meet you. I hope you are going to enjoy the stream. If you need a rapture dance in shadow, type exclamation mark enter in the chat to get into the giveaway. Hey man, long time. Been away from the game for about nine months. Yeah, I thought that Robbie sounds familiar. So you've been here before. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. As soon as we reach 1080 followers, I'm going to give away that Shadow Rapture Dance. Or if we reach uh, 25 subs, whatever we do first. Think it's a different Twitch account. Glad you're still streaming. Yeah, I have never stopped. I'm still doing at least my 10 P2E games daily on stream. If there is going to be some kind of event or something, I also will do uh, Sealed again. We'll see. Oh, we got a bad hand here, I guess. But if this is just Strength Steel Deception, it should be alright. No, it's Hidden Rush Deception. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Good luck. I guess we start with Pyramide Warden. Although I, I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Stone Skin Poison, huh? Hmm, <laughs> hmm, I'm not quite sure. Canopy Sniper is not really helpful right now. But he's not playing Bound by her will, so I guess it's okay. He's probably going to shuffle the Blade in or Diffia. I think he's not... Yeah, he's not afraid of Thario. Landcaller Captain. We're going to create. Hmm. This 
The good thing is, though, he had only spells so far, so Pyramide Warden won't give him anything back from his void. Morte Madre, by the way. Just see you enter the giveaway too. Welcome back. And great to see you. Landcaller Captain. Firewine. Hmm. I guess we go white with the Landcaller. We can grab Nightleaf Trapper. Yeah, dude, control entering the giveaway too. Great. Um, what exactly do you And why Evan? Yes, let's go, guys. I think he gotta finish the canopy sniper now. He's forced to. Otherwise, his hidden creatures are all going to die. Except maybe armor lurkers. Yeah, Huck raised. Let's go. So, he disconnected. I guess... Is this maybe a rage quit? I don't know. Probably yes. So that would mean... We gotta wait now, but... It's a win. Firewine, so good, yeah. 8 2 is real. Rairu, I guess you're right. Now we just have to do it tomorrow at Weekend Ranked again. Mm. I'm not sure if we can pull that off. Report him, lol. No. That makes no difference. You cannot say it. You cannot say for 100% sure that this is a rage quit, even though it looks like it. He might just playing on mobile and he's driving in a train and then is entering a rural area in Germany without internet. So as far as I know, Germany is the only land where there are spaces without internet connection. So, but his time is up. Staking yield was nice this week. Oh yeah? We gotta take a look. I didn't know. I didn't know. We should have played Firewine, I guess, huh? But I guess, think he's going to die now anyway. Hmm. Their plan can't be that obvious. Usually after... yeah. After some time. So crazy. We are ending with 8-2. And our deck is pretty shiny, so it pays off quite a lot. Take a look. 1.74k of fragments. When we take a look at our 1.38 from yesterday, it's going to be like 10 gods, I guess. Crazy. Really crazy. Um, we can take a look at staking too, if you are interested. Staking, where are you? Claim? The, um, is it this screen? No, this one. How does staking work? You just have to have your gods on layer 2 and you have to play your dailies or mint something or buy a pack, something like that. I usually just play Sometimes I sell a card or I buy a card, but most of the time I'm just... Oh yeah, we got 7.61 gods weekly rewards. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Way more than, than the last weeks. 
Hmm. So if that is gonna be next week's reward around two, yeah. It's going to be 11, 12, 20. Yeah, maybe we get 28 in this month, 28 gods. Pretty, pretty cool. And yeah, when you when you check out this website, you can click on staking. And then it is all how to participate. To be eligible for a reward, you must meet the following criteria in a given reward period. New period in six days, hold gods. Keep your gods in your wallet linked to Immutable X. This wallet must be connected to your GU account. You can manage your wallets there, blah, blah, blah. Plus one of the following criteria. Yeah, you need to play or mint or purchase a pack or buy or sell at the secondary market. And I'm usually playing and minting. Sometimes I buy and sell too. It depends. And normally you should be um, to calculate your estimated reward. But for me, it's not working. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's it. It's simple. I have four of them done, but I don't have anything. I see. Yeah, when you don't have much gods, I guess it is not paying off. So guys, mm, we are done with daily P2E for today. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Duriel, oh, thank you for following. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome on board, and I hope you enjoy the stream. Guys, I'm going to take now a short break. Hello, hello. Good to see you. I'm going to take now a short break to get a cup of coffee and to set everything up for the next game. Because I'm going to play now the original Baldur's Gate. Or not, not the totally original. It's the, the first game, but it's the enhanced edition. So it is running a little bit smoother and so on. I need uh, some minutes to set it all up. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching so far. I hope some of you are sticking with me in that adventure. Even though it's just a Web 2 game and an even an old one. But I'm going to try to, to read all the texts for you and all the conversations to make it a little bit nice to look at. So I hope some of you are going to stick with me for Baldur's Gate 2. And for those who are just here for Gods Unchained, Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you tomorrow again for Weekend Ranked. And yeah, let's take a break. I'll be right back.